Hey you guys, this is Yvette and I'm back with another video. Today on Treasure Me, we're going to be making a coffee shop. Now the reason why I decided to make a coffee shop is because I was going to do a morning routine for my doll and didn't have a routine. This is inspired by Starbucks. Now, I don't know about you, but I love Starbucks, so I decided to make a video. Now, I've already pre-prepped the box. This is a box from Amazon. Uh, it's not a small box, but not a medium box, if that makes sense. So, I already put the back wall up. We're going to put the side walls for stability. I'm going to paint half of this wall on this side, and then the rest brick. So, it's going to be a dark chocolate brown because those are like Starbucks colors. Now, I'm putting like three layers of paint just to make sure it's painted fully. Now that it's painted, we're going to let it dry and go ahead and put in the windows and the door for the, the Starbucks. The plastic that I'm using, it's plexiglass and I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to be using tape to put the glass up because when I use the glue it makes it bulky so I'm just taping the glass up with tape and then the the backing that I put on it is going to seal it together make sure you pull the plastic off because I'm known to glue these windows and doors up without taking the plastic off now that I have the plastic on the window I'm going to apply it to the door I'm doing the exact same thing I did to the window, apply the plastic with tape so it can stay up. Now that we have the window and the door plastic in place, we're going to put the siding up that we allowed to dry. But first, we're going to put the floor in just to make sure our measurements are still on point. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this flooring down. And it's bendable so you can flip it up if you want to close the box. Now that is glued. We're going to go ahead and put the side wall in. All right. So now we're putting the side wall in. And now that the side wall in, we're going to flip it over and put the rooftop or the ceiling up. Now that the ceiling is up, we're going to go ahead and add the brick to the wall. Now, I love this brick. I actually found a brick to match the Starbucks, and I was so excited. So now we're putting the brick up. Now, I'm not using cardstock, you guys. This is label paper, so it's sticky on one side. I love using the label paper so I don't have to use glue sticks to glue it down. Now I'm putting the other side wall up that's going to be around the window. And this just helps for stability, y'all, so the box won't be flimsy. And then I'm going to line this window up with foam board. All right, now that we have the foam board around the window, we're going to put in our flooring. This is a light wood flooring that I got off of Amazon. And be careful where you place it because once it sticks, <laughs> it's hard to get it up off of there. And just make sure there's no bubbles, no lumps. Just smooth it out with your hand and line it up against all the corners. I love the contact paper. I'm just not with all the glue sticks and gluing in. Plus the contact paper at last. So I always use contact paper in my videos. Now that we have the flooring in place, I'm just going to take this X-Acto knife and go along the walls to remove the excess contact paper. Now that the flooring is in, we're going to go ahead and start on this side wall and we're going to do the same. Paint half of the wall brown and the rest, we're going to put up the brick paper. Starting to run out of cardboard, so I had to do half and half because I don't want to use my foam boards for this if I'm going to be covering it up now the brick i actually printed off my printer and again it's on the label paper and i'm going to go ahead and apply it right here i cut off this little section because you're not going to see it this is where the seating area is going to be on the wall now i'm going to attach an additional flooring for this side of the wall I'm not going to glue it down just yet, but I know I'm going to change my mind. And we're going to go ahead and start with the seating. Now, you have to measure your dolls to get the exact seating. 
and I'm using this brown contact paper. See, that's all I use is contact paper. And we're going to line up the foam board with the contact paper. All right, so now that we have one side of the chair covered, we're going to go ahead and apply it to the flooring and line it up against the wall. We're going to take the other side of the booth and do the same thing. Glue it to the floor. And now we're going to cover the seating area with cushion and leather material. This leather material I got from a brown skirt that I no longer can wear. All right, now we're going to lay the seating area onto the boot and glue it down. Make sure you get adult supervision because this glue is very hot. There has been several times where this glue has touched my skin. All right, now that we have the seat cushion down, we're gonna put the backing cushion onto the booth as well, same process, and glue it down. And again, use a generous amount of glue to make sure it's on there and good and tight. Now our booth is starting to come together. All right, so now we're going to get the foot area and the back area of the booth installed as well. Now this booth is going to be sitting right on this side wall in the corner over here. Now I'm not going to attach it just yet. Right now I'm going to go ahead and put the table up. The table is covered in the dark wood material. And now I'm going to be installing the checkout counter. It has a marble contact paper with the dark wood contact paper that we use for the booth. The checkout counter is in an L shape so that the dolls can walk behind the counter. And also we can use that side window as a drive through if we want. Now we're just gluing the pieces together to the checkout boot um, fence to go ahead and glue the siding of the checkout. And slide it up against the wall on the right hand side. Now that we have our booth in, we're going to go ahead and finish lining up this wall with some more brick. Because I was going to just put it on the side, but I decided I'm going to line up the whole wall at the bottom half with brick just to make it look uniform. I have a black piece of foam board that I'm going to put the menu up on the back wall. And make sure you're using a generous amount of glue so it doesn't fall off. I'm going to put it right in the middle and then I'm going to line up the brick wall so you can't show where the brick wall ends with this black foam board. And I'm actually going to put it all the way around. Now we're going to put our Starbucks sign on that black lining that I put on the wall. Now that our Starbucks sign is in place, we're going to add some logos to the coffee shop. Now that we have the logo up, this side wall is really bothering me because I don't have nothing on there. So we're going to put some pictures on this wall right here next to the booth. All right, and now you're done. Make sure you guys check out our next video where we do our morning routine with the Starbucks. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe.